G'day, welcome to Low Cultivate. My name's Steve. Today we're going to be having a quick look at how we can attract beneficial wildlife into our garden. When many people think about insects in the garden, they are usually thinking about those insects as being pests. But we need to move on from thinking about insects as being pests and thinking about the benefits that they can bring to our garden. Now, while some insects do bring problems for us in our garden, there are many insects that actually come in and are predators on those insects that are problematic. But in addition to that, of course, many insects and some other wildlife as well are pollinators. And the more pollination that we can get in our garden, well then the better crop that we're likely to achieve. So let's now have a look at just a few ideas that you can incorporate in your garden in order to attract these beneficial insects and other wildlife into it. So idea number one, use dry rock walls. When you use a dry rock wall, rather than having all of the gaps concreted, what you do is you provide habitat for a whole range of different organisms. With a dry rock wall, you are in fact creating a lot of little spaces and in these spaces you provide protective habitat for such things as lizards and a whole range of other reptiles just to name a few. Idea number two, incorporate some insect houses into your garden. These insect houses are easy to make or if you prefer you can buy them but they are very easy to make and what they will do is they will also provide some habitat for those predatory and beneficial insects in your garden. Idea number three, consider using old piles of firewood in your garden as you can see here. Just be a little bit creative in your own mind about how you might present it. Idea number four, build some raised garden beds in your garden but use as the wall around your garden the dry rock stack method. This will provide lots of little crevices in amongst the rocks for all sorts of wildlife to come into your garden and be protected in this habitat. Idea number five, don't be afraid to allow some of those grasses and other wildflowers to go a little wild in your garden. Now I'm not suggesting that you should be doing that everywhere, but just the odd patch throughout your garden would be beneficial when it comes to the bringing in of beneficial insects and other wildlife into your garden. Idea number six, use gabion rock walls to retain sections of your garden. And you can see a gabion rock wall here where we have the wire frame and dry bedded rocks within that rock frame, providing lots of habitat for beneficial organisms in your garden. So I hope this video has given you some ideas about what you can do in your own garden to encourage predator insects and various other beneficial organisms into your garden. So can I ask you please to go down to the thumbs up and give us a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and go to our website iCultivate.net and become a member of the community. Thanks for watching.